Alright everyone, I imagine you guys are wondering what I took out of my bag. I took out my black and white fire starter kit. This is an amazing kit. I always carry one of these. This has actually saved my life. I did the 7 day survival challenge up in northern Wisconsin when I was dealing with negative 30 degree weather. And what I'm doing with this is I'm going to be doing a social distancing 6 feet fire challenge. Now I originally saw this from one of my subscribers, Jason McDaniel. And I'll post his link down here below so you guys can check out that video. But he did a six foot challenge uh, striking his ferro rod six feet away and getting a fire going. Now I'm going to be using the black and white fire starter kit. I'm actually going to be using what's called the black and white in here. And that's going to be my source of tinder to get this flame going. Uh, I was originally going to do all natural tinder. But because it's been raining and it's, it's actually started to snow here a little bit. Uh, it's going to be really difficult and I thought for just a nice quick sh short video I just go ahead and use some black and white fire starters because I'm always guaranteed to get a fire going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the black and white fire starter black and white right here. I'm going to walk back six feet, take my ferro rod out and try to strike a fire. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see what I'm doing. It also comes with the instructions and all that good stuff too. Very cool. Uh, but this is what I'm after right here. This stuff is amazing. This is called the black and white. Put some of that right there. And because it's super windy, I'm just gonna try to go ahead and uh, try to block some of that wind as best as possible. Uh, there we go. And now I'm going to walk six feet away from the uh, tender. I'm going to take out my ferro rod. I have it into my Hidden woodsman sack. And no, I think I'll go with this guy. I think I'll go with this for a rod. It's a little bit longer than the one I usually use, which is my uh, UST. But this is an also a uh, really nice ferro rod too. I might use it, I don't know. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do one more seven. So right here, I'm gonna mark this spot out. I'm gonna reach over and grab my camera and get it right to where I'm at. And see if you guys, which would be a better way? Right here, there we go. Let's see, I got the wind blowing against me so that should help shoot those sparks pretty far out. Just gonna take my Mora knife, my ferro rod, and try to shoot some sparks. Hopefully that's picking up on video. Hopefully it's showing. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Move out of frame a little bit. Still about six and a half, seven feet away. There she goes. That's it guys, more knife and a ferro rod, and I got it going. Six feet, I was probably about seven feet away. So that, 
That was awesome. Kind of wore out. Keep going, kept going. Probably took me like 20 minutes to get this done. I was expecting to get it done within the first minute or two. I was against the wind. That way the wind was blowing the sparks. And uh, surely I thought it was going to work. So crazy. It started smoking and I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. And I hit it again. And by the time I hit it again, it just engulfed in flames. So super happy, super pleased about it. Oh man. So there you guys have it. All right, so there you guys have it. We got our social distancing six foot fire challenge completed. Now I wasn't challenged for this. Like I said, I happen to, uh, I still check up on my subscribers. You know, those who still have videos that don't really do it for, uh, you know, professionally, just do it just to have a video up and something that they can remember. And Jason McDan uh, McDaniel, he had had this video and I believe this is his original idea. I'm not too sure about it, but I saw it. I wanted to do it. So I did, I did the uh, social distancing fire challenge. Uh, it was a nice little challenge. Uh, it was a lot harder than I expected. Uh, like I said, I went against the wind so that those sparks would carry with the wind. And uh, after like 20 minutes, I finally got it going. Now this would have been a lot harder using tinder as I said. As you guys can see uh, in the background of the video, there's still snow on the ground. It snowed today, snowed last night and it rained. Uh, we're just entering spring, but we're still getting cold weather. That's kind of why I'm wearing my flannel. Uh, so big shout out to Jason McDaniel for doing this challenge. Uh, as every time I see something I want to do, I always try to make sure that I give uh, credit where credit's due. I can't stand people who go ahead and do challenges and they don't give the credit where uh, credit's due. So uh, Jason McDaniel, that was an awesome challenge that you may or may not have came up with. Very cool. Now I'm going to challenge a few other people. I'm going to challenge Dave with Really Big Monkey 1. And... I don't know who else. I'm gonna challenge Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. So there you guys go. I'm challenging you guys. I want to see you guys do a social distance fire challenge, being six feet away using nothing but a ferro rod, some tinder, whether man-made or natural, and a knife. This is your challenge. I hope to see you guys take it on. And remember, thanks for watching this video. And I want to also thank all you guys for uh, taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, definitely go back check some of my older videos and maybe consider uh, subscribing. Uh, we have a really awesome community. We got the Wood Squad. You guys are all awesome. You guys rock. Um, lots of stuff going to be happening here soon. Lots of challenges coming up. Uh, some survival challenges as well. I know I may look different without the beard, but I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video out. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to those channels. I will have a link to their to their channels down below this video. And including Jason, the one who I originally saw this challenge from. So I will catch you guys on the next one. I also wanted to tell you guys real quick too, depending on when this video comes out. I am now eligible to have a membership for my subscribers. There's different tiers to becoming a member of my channel. Not just subscribing, but also becoming a member. You get lots of bonus perks like exclusive live streams, exclusive videos that only those who purchase get to view. I'm really excited about it. It's going to really help be able to create income for the channel. I can go out and do more fun, exciting things for you guys. So I want to thank you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.